I now call the order, order the New Carlisle City Council meeting Wednesday, August 29th, 2018 at 7 p.m. Mrs. Berner. Mayor Reynolds. Here. Mr. Lowry. Here. Mr. Shammy. Mr. Cobb. Here. Mr. Cook. Here. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Here. Well, I'll put it on. Five minutes. Yep. All right, if you don't mind uh, staying for the invitation by Vice Mayor Bill Lindsay. Heavenly Father, thank you once again for bringing us uh, together to do the city's business. Lord, we ask you to bless each and every one of us as we do what we need to do for our city this evening, Father. We ask you to bless each and every one of these people that came out. Bless them on their way home this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You don't mind saying the pledge of the fact tonight? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have no minutes tonight, no communications, no city manager's report. We now are to the comments from members of the public. Um, Please feel free to speak, and you have five minutes. Uh, Mr. Grimm, uh, do you want to let her go first? Okay. Yes. yes, and please, name and address, please. Linda Eggleston Nowakowski, 317 South Main Street. Um, I saw the notice for this meeting this morning, and I wondered what the purpose of the meeting was. And nobody seemed to know. And I went to the ordinances, and this meeting has not been called properly and should not be held. The, the ordinance reads, the clerk of council shall not later than 24 hours before the time of a special meeting of the municipal body post a statement of the time, place, and purpose of such a special meeting. Thank you, Mr. Bridge. Anything on that? Is it that correct? Uh, well, I, is that correct that the notice for the appointment would be null and void? Or is that something we need to contact on that? I'm responsible to answer that. Well, I have no idea. Yeah. What does the charter say? I'd have to look it up. Um, let me get on my phone real quick. Um, did, you print, did you print that out yeah. from our web? Can I see that? <laughs> it's from our charter. Sunday to Sunday is all we have. Who had the copy of the charter? 
I can pull it up. I think Mr. Cobb did. <laughs>
comments from members of the public. What time on Saturday? Uh, I guess that's up to council. 7. 7 p.m. on Saturday. Does that work for everybody? Yeah. I can get bigger. That's okay. <laughs> We're not voting. Yeah. <clears throat> what is, do, do you want to do Saturday morning instead of in the evening? Because we bought plans in the evening. Yeah, that's fine for me. Anyone do 10 a.m., 10.30? Oh, Saturday? Saturday. <laughs> no. Say what? Saturday? Two Saturdays in a row at 9 a.m. I gave be a little early yeah. for Randy. Oh, and me. I, I'm just going to ask not to come to a Saturday meeting. All right, that's all right. You don't have to be here. Yeah, yeah we'll just do a uh, one do at noon. Yeah, noon would be better. I'd be awake then. Um, Shelter House is probably not open. We'll just do it at the fire power station. Yeah. Can you make a note of that in the fire station? Fire mm -hmm. station. Yep. Saturday is still within the, the seven days. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's double check that. Double check it. <clears throat> so if there's 31 days, so 25th, that's when the publication came out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then. What time the publication you have it ran in your paper, sir? What time does your paper get released? Like noon, one o'clock? Like, like what time is it at officially out on Wednesday? I mean, it may come down to a matter of hours. If your paper don't hit the shelves till noon and the ad is an hour early than that 24, we need to make sure they have the meeting within the time frame. Some people get them early in the morning, some people get them in the afternoon. So we'll just say midnight at yeah. it counts. So let's count it out then here just to be sure we're safe. Without, Thank you, Dale. I mean, it's running ground on us at 25th. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31st. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. And then to the 25th. Uh, yeah, so we're still, Saturday's our last day for the appointment. No, for the 25th when the ad was published. It still falls within that time frame. Yes. I mean, does anyone else want to count it out with me? I'm going to count it out. So 25th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. Oops. I just messed up here because I clicked on that. Uh, I'd be from the 24th, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So Friday is the last day, it looks, maybe. Friday is the last day. But the question then would be, if it's the last day, I guess we have to look up what, how you would notify. Or our charter says in the paper, general circulation. General circulation, yeah. So maybe we just... Can I see your charter again? I know it says it in there. I do public... Or I do, I mean, I do legal ask for planning board all the time. Yeah. And it has to be in a circulation. So general circulation, yeah, according to our meetings. So, so if we don't have time, then... We'd have to double check with Lynette just to make sure that the seven days... We're going to have to go to special election if you don't have the time. Yep. Okay, that would be incredibly unfortunate for the city to spend that money. How much is a special election? Twelve grand. Okay. And it won't be until next year sometime. So we need to count the 2019 budget, not our 18 current budget. Oh. Because if we have to spend, we'll talk. Yeah. So we'll see. Though if there's 31 days, it's one, two, three, 25th to the 24th would be. That would be 30, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, 7 days would be Friday night at midnight, or 11.59 would be the last minute, so. Um, I think the charter is pretty self-explanatory, Mrs. Reynolds. I really do. Yeah. Can I see your copy? I think what we should do is if we can reach out to the paper tonight to have it submitted. Because, I mean, uh, you can sit there and publish things other, other ways, but our charter is binding. Yes, ma'am. You're coming up on Saturday? You have 30 days. Yeah. You have 30 days. It would be a, the midnight of the uh, the 25th would be your, well, actually, I guess with Dale, is it, what, what's the earliest someone can pick up a paper from you on Wednesday when the date is issued on the general circulation? 
Because I know they can pick up on Tuesday from you, but the date on the paper was for the 25th. The paper is dated the 25th. Yes, so and what's the early someone can pick up? There is no time. There is no time. Okay, have to use that 12, 12 o'clock. Yeah, we'll just do 12 o'clock on the 35th. So.
have your copy of your charter with you at your house. Now we're 
because I got August 30th is your last day, which is tomorrow. August 30th. Tomorrow? Is our mm -hmm. last day to appoint? Oh, Hang on. The 30th would be the last day to appoint? Yeah, because if August 24th was the 30 days, you have seven days from the 20th. The 20th. Yeah, all right. So unless we get a special election then. All right, there. Maybe. That's what I got. I got the 30th. I was going to get the 30th or default down to the 31st. Either way, it's, it's looking like it's the 24th is the day, was the 30 days up. So you have 30, you have seven days from the 24th when that ad expired, essentially. So doing that, it's 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 29th, 30th would be your seventh day, which is tomorrow. <clears throat> Yeah, so therein lies the notice was defective because it didn't, it didn't state the purpose, which it needs to. Um, and then we don't, want, we don't have time to, note, to put a 24 hour notice and back into a newspaper. So it has to default. Okay.
that before. That's why it's always been done that way. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but state law, state law, whatever, right now. Because that's not our charter. That's our regular code. Yeah. But we're home city, so we can make that matter.
Oh, yeah. Second. We are adjourned.